one is really the crown jewel of what uh, is a $19 billion redevelopment of JFK uh, writ large. We began construction on September of 2022. We had our top off at March of 2024, and we're projected to be completed in June of 2026. Being a part of building this international terminal means so much because not only do we get to be the gateway to the world here in Queens, the folks who are part of this project are really representative of the folks who will be traveling through this terminal. So we have people from all over the world speaking hundreds of languages right here in this borough, and that's really symbolic of the international terminal that we're building. So it's very different from maybe Terminal 4 or Terminal 8. Um, that other, they're carrying domestic airlines. But we're excited to say that we're an only international terminal, which means it defines the space a little bit differently. We are looking for pure passenger customer experience, ensuring that we meet that world's class. It's given the passenger a journey where it's intuitive, it's seamless, it's they come in and they're, they're immersed into the sense of place. We're gonna have art and branding, art and branding from throughout the world. We're also gonna have different type of retail shops. So we'll have world class retail experiences, food and beverage experiences. Uh, there's significant improvements to the road network in and around JFK as well. So what that requires from our team is a really day-to-day, hour-by-hour coordination with colleagues and partners across all of these different projects to ensure we can keep the operations of JFK moving smoothly while also building the future of JFK. Well, here are two really fun facts. One is that our security checkpoint is literally the size of a football field, plus. And then the amount of steel, if you look around the facility and the amount of steel that it took to build this 2.3 million square foot program, it is the equivalent of five Eiffel Towers in Paris. At NTO's core, um, sort of engaging with the community in a meaningful way is really important to us. So that not only means making sure that there's meaningful investment in the community because we are part of this community, but also that we are maximizing economic opportunities for folks locally and regionally. So that includes MWBE participation, that includes supporting nonprofit organizations in key areas, that it involves workforce development, making sure that there are career opportunities, not only in construction, but outside of construction. We are really lucky to have a very good partner in the Port Authority. Um, in, in our agreement, you know, there is a 30% participation requirement across the project, and this is right, a multi-billion dollar, $9.5 billion project. But we also have other stakeholders who are really invested in making sure we not only reach that 30%, but we uh, uh, exceed that 30%. So to date, NTO has about a participation rate of 28% uh, MWBE participation. And that includes, that's across the business. So that's construction, that's NTO, that's all of our spend. Um, right now we have about 443 minority and women-owned businesses on this job which totals about $1.2 billion in economic impact, which is amazing.